You know, I, I had typing in high school. You know what my typing consisted of? Putting a pencil in it and see who I can launch it at. That was what my typing was. So anyways, we got these cell phones, right? We got this little keypad. You know, and I'm sending a text, right? Everybody send texts now. We don't talk anymore. We text. So I'm sending this shit. And my buddy says, what the fuck are you talking about? You want to lick my sweaty balls? I'm like, what the shit? What the shit? Backspace that. But I got this theory. I got this simple theory. Because my kids, they don't talk anymore. I can go to this guy's house and say, hey man, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, great. But my kids, they don't talk anymore. They text. They're sitting at the table. You ever see that T-Mobile commercial with the little redhead girls in there? <laughs> and the mom's sitting there talking, right? That's my kids. They don't talk. In 20 fucking years, we're all going to be a bunch of Neanderthals. We're going to be grunting. We're going to be saying, LOL. I know, right? We're going to be doing this shit. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it, people. I'm going out tomorrow and I'm going to buy me a club. A Neanderthal club. I'm going to beat the shit out of everybody keeps texting. Let's start talking. Let's embrace each other. Let's have a good time. Yeah. yeah. We got a great show tonight. Our first comic up. He's a local guy who's been seeing some devil comedy acts here locally. Give it up for Mr. Bobby Staten. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight, Whiskey River? Yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, y'all ready to laugh? Yeah. Maybe yeah. after me, you will be okay. Um, I've been feeling a little bit better here lately. Uh, it started off, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I had a little bit of a rash in this area, and I went to the doctor, and, you know, just thank God for the Valtrex. It, it works all the time. Uh, we, uh, I'm 42, I'm recently married, uh, which most of you already know. Uh, I've got a brand new fuck trophy on the way. Uh, we're proud. Uh, we just... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm nervous, and I, I took a no, half a bag. Uh, so, uh, we talked about my sex life, and uh, I'm sure this is going to offend some of you, but I don't give a fuck, because <laughs> you all know me. The, uh, the first time I ever had the sexual experience of eating fucking so pussy, uh, it was my, my stepdad's girlfriend. My stepdad had passed out, and she just looked at me, and she was all like, do you know how to eat pussy? And I was like, mm -hmm, no. And, you know, she was all like, let me show you. And I was like, fucking A. So she guides my head down to this general area, and I was licking her belly button, licking the inside of her leg, and licking anything that I could get my tongue on. And she said, hold on, tiger. She grabbed both my ears, and she said, when I tell you to lick, you lick like a goddamn rattlesnake. So I did, and yeah, it started off great. I was hitting this little button that felt like a different dick if, if you've ever sucked one, it's awesome. <laughs> Once you get past the dog, we'll get back on, you're done. Um, but I was licking it and I was going, this is, it, it was chewy, and I just kept licking it. The more I licked it, I was like, I'm so up a little bit in my mouth, and it was more chewy. And when it got done, I mean, I know that I'm not really hung down here, but I mean, I was, Ready, and she was mounting me stud. And I did, and I, you know, six, seven seconds, but it was a record back then for me. And I, for the second time. And when I went to the bathroom to, like, you know, wash this off, I draw back to punch. I had blood from here to here. And hey, fuck, you don't judge me. It's my first fucking time. It was awesome. And I didn't even finger fuck my throat or nothing. I stayed strong. I kept that shit here. And, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, uh, I never told you we got a, a brand new fuck trophy on the way. We, we go to the doctor. The, the doctor, I don't know, he was a, an educated black man, but I think he was trying to keep me down. He tells Brooke where she's had so many miscarriages that, you know, we're not allowed to have sex for the first trimester. I'm thinking, first trimester, that's three, five days. <laughs> Thirteen weeks, bitches. Well, I jacked off so much, you don't even know, honey. It was awesome. She would leave her work, and I'm like, you motherfucker. I beat it like it owed me money, constantly. And, uh, you washed a lot of dirty clothes, baby, that wasn't really dirty. So, 
But uh, you see, the doctor said, you know, you can't have sex for the first trimester. So, and I was like, you're a dick, really? <laughs> you know, two, three days? He goes, no, it's, it's okay. She'll do other things. If any of you all know my wife, like half of Ireton does, she... <laughs> It's either mine or somebody <laughs> else's. I'm hoping you... I told her to quit wearing cotton panties because that little bastard will not pick its way through to have... I'm sorry. It's... But anyway, back to my story. So he says, she'll do other things. And I'm like, you fuck face. She don't do nothing. There's no other things, Doc. About four days into it, I was laying there and I was just stiff as a board. And Brooke rose over and she goes, what's the matter, babe? Just wide out as hell. I said, I can't close my eyes. She said, why? I said, my goddamn dick's so hard, I ain't got no skin left to blink. And, and she won't, you know, do nothing. And I was, you know, they just suck it. Just suck it. And she's like, hey, you know, can't me. So I washed it vigorously, and you bitch. She still won't suck it. And, and I thought it was because it stunk, but it didn't. The fucking devil, I swear to God. But uh, any of you fellas, um, speaking of jacking off and sexual things, you ever let a woman, you know, play around with your asshole a little bit? <laughs> you lying son of a... Every one of you's tried it. And I told Brooke, I was like, I don't mind, just maybe just the tip of it, because once you get past the tip, you motherfuckers don't know what you're missing. That's a good one. I mean, she was finger banging me like I paid her money to do it. I don't know what it was. It was awesome. Uh, I let her. I'm, fuck you guys. I'm a freak. I don't care. <laughs> she's constantly telling all you guys, she's family and friends. She's all like, you all know why he's black in the way down Vegas? Not black. The motherfucker's Bruce from all the jackets. <laughs> and I've been doing it constantly. Forever. You know, but it, it's cool. I don't give a shit. Um, oh, by the way, uh, there's a lady in the crowd tonight I'd like to introduce to you all. She's very special and dear to me. She brought me into the world. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for... Will you all give a round of applause for my mom's gynecologist? Hey, don't Dr. Henry. You all thought I was going to say, Mom didn't, you dumbasses. <laughs> um, so my name's Bobby Staten. Thank you all for letting me live my dream. And thank you all for coming out.